All right, my friends, I get this question a lot, whether or not if you're working part-time or even full-time before your uh, full retirement age and you're collecting Social Security, can you add to your 401k to reduce your earnings to avoid the earnings test? And we'll, if this doesn't make sense yet, it will here in just a second. So here's from uh, my man Gil out of Missouri. Hey, Josh, I got a question about contributing to a 401k while collecting survivor benefits. I'll be earning about $600 a month above the cap of $1,470. Uh, I'm thinking about putting that ex the excess, that uh, $600 a month excess into the 401k. Is that possible to do so I don't get reduced by a dollar of reduction for every $2 above the earnings test? Does that make sense? So that's a good question, Gil. And I actually had to look that up because off the top of my head, I didn't know about survivor benefits. So let's take a look on survivor benefits. Uh, earnings test applies to all types of Social Security benefits, whether you claim on your own record, a spouse, or a survivor. So the answer is we know survivor benefits also fall under the earnings test. Uh, so I wasn't aware of that, but now we know. Now I look up this. This is from uh, Kiplinger. Back in 2012, it's a great article, though, and uh, Kiplinger is just fantastic. This is Kim Langford. I've uh, referred to her a bunch of times. Uh, the question is, uh, I am 62 year old and planning to start collecting Social Security uh, benefits this year. Can I reduce the amount of income subject to the Social Security earnings tab by contributing to a 401k plan? And Kim answers up here real quick. She goes, you can work part time and start drawing benefits before your full retirement age, but expect smaller Social Security checks, even if you put your earnings towards a 401k. And so Kim says, no. Uh, reducing, you're not going to, you're not going to re reduce your earnings test by contributing to the 401k. Although your 401k contributions can lower your taxable income, it's your gross wages from your job or self-employment before any deductions of taxes or 401k contributions that determine whether your social security benefits will be reduced under the earnings cap. The full retirement age for people, blah, blah, blah. So the earning, we already talked about the earnings limit. But you don't lose money to the earnings test forever. Instead, your benefits will be recalculated before your forward, at your full retirement age and increased to make up for the months when your benefits were the hell. So great question. Uh, so Gil, my friend, sorry, you cannot, you will not reduce the dollar for every $2 above the earnings test by putting into a 401k. Hope this helps. Appreciate the question. Thanks now.